Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I kind of want to talk about, you know, what the title kind of states, um, which is fat shaming. Now, I want to put this forward. The thing that kind of brought on me talking about this as a whole, it's not because I think I'm fat or anything, or I think that other people have been doing that to me. Oddly enough, it actually cores, the idea of this particular video, cores off of watching an episode of, as dumb as this is, South Park. Um, there's an episode where they kind of look down on fat shaming, but kind of look at simultaneously, they look down on the people who get affected by it. However, there's kind of, this is one of those things where there's a story to both sides. First of all, this is like the shorter amount doesn't have as much support from my end at all. Not even close. So let's look on the end of those who actually do the fat shaming. Why? How does it benefit the person who actually does it? Well, this is not something someone can just downright understand. To make the action of doing so, you're basically presenting your presenting and shunning somebody who has what could be a, from a little bit to quite a bit of weight on them, and just basically making fun of them. But kind of like bullying, which is basically what it is, there usually is a core mental psychological reason why the person does it in the first place. However, that's not a video for, it's not a topic for this video. Um, I wanted to clarify that, that there are two sides of a coin, even if one of the sides, the one that I'm talking about currently, doesn't exactly have a lot of support because of the action. With that being said, that does kind of cover that end because we could talk about the details of that end in a completely different video about, like I said, bullying. That could be a completely different topic, though. <clears throat> or bullies in general, and their cause, cause for their actions, even if it's speculation. However, right now, we're talking about, you know, like I said, fat shaming, and the more detailed end of what's going on here actually comes from the person who's actually being fat shamed in the first place. And why it damages them so much. Bear in mind, it does not damage every single person like that. However, for the most part, it does. Like, once again, me for example. I said at the beginning I'm not fat. That's not 100% true. I do have a little bit on me, a little bit of thickness on my, like where my stomach is, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. People can taunt and tease me all they want. It's not going to do anything. I'm not one of the kind of people to get impacted by it. However, there are several people on this planet who would. Like, for example, say, I don't know, say you go online and... You talk about your success in losing, I don't know, somewhere between 5 and 20 pounds, and you're trying to reach a goal of a certain lower weight. In your mind at that moment, you're going, yes, it's one step closer. But there are going to be people on there who will go, yeah, but you're still fat or something like that. And the immediate response generally when somebody does that has a tendency to be impactful in a very, very negative way. 
like what I said beforehand, a prime example from kind of what I said beforehand is more the fact that if that is said, most likely the scenario to be presented would be the response would simply be that of the person breaking down. Like they haven't progressed at all. Hypothetically, say the person that I was referring to in this scenario originally, and yes, this is a completely made up hypothetical scenario based off of real, real life circumstances that I'm sure a lot of people go through. Um, person's been trying so hard to thin down, to be like not thick anymore, and they're fully where they are because of different pieces of evidence that have told them this. Um, so they try to thin down. But people make fun of them for it. The, the, the fact that they're visually still thick. That's really not fair on the person to fat shame them. Especially when, for all you know, they could be trying their best to slim down so they're not that anymore. The realism behind all of this is something that just seems to go ignored. And sometimes, this is rare, but sometimes it could just be jokingly teasing, saying, hey, you got a long way to go or something like that. Like the person may deep down try to be just, you know, just teasing or trying to have fun. Trying to really, in their mind, they're probably going, eh, good luck though. But the words that come out of their mouth are on paper or on the internet, depending on where you say it. doesn't say the same story and this impacts the person you're talking to and or about in an extremely negative way now not now this was one scenario of several that could be presented another could be that simply of a disability diabetes unfortunately Having this does lead people to actually gain weight that's completely out of their control for the most part. For the most part. There are some people who, if they notice they're going to end up in that predicament way ahead of time, they can prevent it. Which, great for them if they're able to. Um, if not they'll go through life with a biological disorder that they had no control over. These people as well can actually as well get fat shamed and it's not fair to them because it's not something that they're getting bullied for something that they can't control. This happens to a lot of people, too, not just under this topic either. The fact that people bully other people for just most of the time genetic things that they can't control, that's just not fair. I mean, neither is it fair for any of the other reasons as well. Bear that in mind. Just because I'm saying that this particular one is not fair, that doesn't mean I think it's fair to do it for the others. I don't. It's unfair to shame someone for having weight when for all you know they may try be trying to get rid of it or may they may not even have control of the fact that they even have it in the first place. I've come across a lot of people who are very thick, whether guys or girls, it really is irrelevant. The fact of the matter is that they are. And do I pay attention to it? No. Why? Because it's not my place. If they, if it is their own fault that they're in that predicament, in some kind of way or another, that is their problem and their problem alone. Don't make it worse. Now, say it's not their fault. Then, yeah, definitely I don't have the right to say anything. Like I said, say it's diabetes. You're just being cruel under the front of, say, like, fat shaming any version 
of somebody being fat. Whether it's eating a lot or, like I said, multiple times, diabetes or um, brain fart. Or let's, the hypothetical scenario that I was presenting earlier where, you know, something led up to it but you're just trying to get rid of it. Or some kind of other genetic reason. Or some kind of other forceful reason. Anything. You don't have the right to just step in and go, to like, judge them over it. For all you know, and sometimes this is the case, some people do it because they are the same. Quite frankly, it's pathetic when people do that. Like I said, there are two sides to this coin. The coin of the, the idea of fat shaming. But the topic on its own is not okay. It's basically a verbal, it's a very, very particular form of bullying. To pull from the episode I was referring to at the beginning of this video of South Park, um, kind of the idea that goes on is a lot of the people in the within the episode, a lot of people end up getting fat shamed. Well, two people get fat shamed, and then others get shamed for other things, and it gets to a point where it's just makes no sense on what they're getting shamed for. I'm like, so? Within the episode, they also make fun of different other things. Um, but that's beyond the point. As far as, like, the first icon goes, fat, which fat shaming, it gets to a point where one of the kids, um, has to stay up all the time to make sure that the people who were fat shamed are happy and don't have to see it. Don't have to experience that pain. It's unfortunate. Like, watching that part of the episode is very unfortunate because it reflects reality to the T. Now, when I say it reflects reality, I'm not saying every person fat shames. That is ridiculous to claim that. It makes no sense, and it's not even remotely true. However, with how frequently people do get fat shamed, those portions it reflects perfectly. And unfortunately, a lot of the world does do that. Does that mean you do? No. There's probably someone else who does. Maybe it's someone you know. Maybe it's someone you know of. You never know. However, it does get me thinking, why? How does it benefit? How does it benefit the person to fat shame another individual? Does it make them feel better because they probably feel fat? Maybe. That leads over to the bullying thing that I said, though, that we talk in another video. So I'm not going to go too much into detail on that end. And what if the response, what if the person is actually not fat? And the person is called that anyway. They start crying. They have every right to. They don't deserve that statement, especially since it's not even true. And sometimes it can be true, but it's not deserved because of outward circumstance, which we've already talked about in this video. This one particular topic is one of several in the world that is becoming more and more of a problem. For different reasons, still a problem nonetheless though, and it's not okay. So with that being said, I feel like if I talk about this any further, I'm going to end up going on a loop, so I'm going to leave this here. If you know anybody who's struggling with anything along this kind of topic, 
why not reach out? Be a friend. Support them. Listen. There are several things people can do to make sure that the outcome of these kind of things doesn't happen. Because it's not deserved. No matter who you are, stuff like fat shaming is not deserved. Whether the claims that are made are true or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't give anybody the right to do that. But with that said, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to push that like. Well, give the video a like. Uh, if you really like this kind of stuff, like vlogs like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Discussion and rant stuff have been done a lot on here. If you're curious about the other ones, click the link on the side of my head. Some of them are kind of outdated. Others may actually be constantly dated just due to the fact that, you know, they're topics that can live on forever, I suppose. But this isn't quite floating your boat and you're willing to stick around for the whole thing. First of all, thank you. But second of all, Maybe you can click the link on the other side over here where you'll find something that suits you a little bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys, and making sure I can actually log off. We hope to catch all of you in another video. See you guys later.